Good morning, St. Thomas More. Uh, a couple important announcements from guidance. First, the deadline to register for the 2024-25 school year is next Monday, March the 4th. If you plan on returning to STM next year, please make sure you've selected your courses in my blueprint, have paid your $50 activity fee through School Cash Online, and have verified the information on your registration form that was emailed home. If you need help with your course selections and cannot get an appointment with your guidance counselor before March 4th, please do your very best to select your courses and then follow up with your counselor to review and make any changes. Courses will begin to close after next Monday, so if you have not registered by then, you may not get what you want. Secondly, class of 2024. There are now approximately 180 of you that still need to submit your 40 hours of Christian service. The deadline is this Friday, March the 1st, but seeing that this is a PA day, we will extend this to Monday, March the 4th. If your hours are not submitted by then, your name will not be on the grad list that will be posted by the end of next week, and you will therefore not be participating in this year's graduation activities, which include the grad ceremony and dinner dance. Do not deny yourself and your family this once in a lifetime opportunity. Please get them done. So next Monday, March 4th, registration and Christian service hours are due. Let's do this, STM. Have a great day. Good morning, STM. This message is from the STM night shift, the mental health crew. Pink Day started when two Nova Scotia high school students stood up for a fellow student. Pink Shirt Day aims to raise awareness of bullying at work, home, work, and online. The day promotes kindness, respect, and inclusion and encourages people to speak up against bullying in all forms. This year, STM, invi STM Night Shift invites us to celebrate our diversity and lift each other up. Wear your pink shirts on Wednesday. You can also come to the forum on all lunch periods to post your kindness ideas on our giant t-shirt. Something new this year, the Night Shift is selling carnations. These are pink car carnation flowers for you to buy for your friends to show you care. Each carnation is only $2 and you will need to know what classroom your friend, teacher, or, or teammate is in during period 5. Everyone deserves a gesture of care. Pre-order your carnation on Pink Shirt Day for delivery on Thursday during period 5. Show someone how much you care and make a pink gesture this Wednesday. Thank you from the Night Shift. Good morning, STM. My name is Maria. And my name is Fia. And here are your announcements for today. The Junior Boys Soccer Team pre-trial meeting has been canceled today. We will be meeting tomorrow or Tuesday after school in the library. Please make sure that you fill out the survey from the QR code posters before attending. This is a message for those who attended tryouts for the senior badminton team last week. A posting of the team list and practices for this week is outside room 117 in the religion wing. The first mandatory team meeting is today, immediately after school. Please see one of the coaches if you cannot attend. Attention track athletes. The meeting that was to take place at York University on Friday has been canceled. Please see Ms. Diamond for more information. Thanks, Thanks STM. STM. Good morning, STM. This past Thursday, your STM wrestlers competed in GHAC. It was the biggest G-Hack to date with 13 schools represented and some of the biggest weight divisions we've seen in the 20s and high 20s of kids at every weight. Not every weight, but a lot of the weights. And STM did really well. So as a team, we again came second, but we are closing that gap and it was an incredible showing by all of our athletes. On the girls' side, we only brought five girls and all five girls qualified for OFSA. So it was quite exciting. Um, on the girls' side, we have Ali Kress, Matukala Nikosi, who got second, Krista Coleman, third, Juliana Scalgen, third, Jennifer the Tank Di Maderos, first, one of our G Hack champions, and Sylvia Rosenberger got, Rosenberger got first. Sylvia had the largest female weight division of the tournament, and she had lost a match in the, in the pool side and then came out for the finals. And it was between her and two other girls, and she was going into her last match, 
And if she won, she would get second. If she lost, she'd get third and not qualify for OFSA. And if uh, she pinned the girl, she would get first place. Sylvia had a match of her life and ended up pinning the girl in the finals to claim gold. So well done, Sylvia. On the boys' side, we had uh, eight boy, seven boys qualify for OFSA. In total, STM is sending 12 athletes to OFSA next week. Uh, on the boys' side, we have Marquise Jones, who came second, Mohamed Al Shaddat, who came second, Aiden Cook, who are grade 10, we saw at city, one cities, one G hack. He teched everybody, meaning he beat everybody by a score of 10 or more points or pinned them. And in one match, he actually pinned the kid and beat him by 10 points. So he missed out on qualifying for OFSA last year, and this time he beat the GHAC champion, a grade 13 athlete, in the finals by technical superiority. Well done, Aiden. Then we had Yusuf Akrobawi, who got first as well. So he's now a two-time GHAC champion. And in his finals, he was down on criteria at the, in the last 10 seconds and came back to win the match. And he had the largest boys' weight division. So our two STM wrestlers won the largest female and the largest male weight divisions. We also had Luke Bestoyan, who got third, who qualified for OFSA, Owen Monahan, who got third and is going to OFSA, and Luca Capretta, who got third and is going to OFSA. So congratulations to our STM wrestlers. OFSA is next week, and I'll see you today after school for practice. Thanks. Good morning, STM. I would just like to bring some attention to the junior girls volleyball team who won the championship last Thursday. These girls had a stellar season. We started off by winning the Newman Invitational Tournament, and only had one loss throughout our regular season. In playoffs, we swept Cathedral 3-0 and had a tough game against ACMT and ended up winning 3-1. In the championship, it was a very back and forth game. We started off by taking the first set, 25-15. In the second, we unfortunately lost 25-19. In the third, we won again 25-15. In the fourth, we were down 11-1 before coming back, making it a close game, unfortunately losing 25-23. And in the fifth set, we ended up winning 15-11. I would just like to shout out some of our players, specifically the grade 10s, Presley Fortune, Natalie Hansen, Kira McNeese, and Mia Mazuka, who were great leaders on the court, Chloe Gold, and Mia Caterini, who were awesome left sides, as well as Grace Orlicky and Caitlin Connolly. Uh, thanks for all your support for the championship game. Well, SDM, those are all of your announcements for today. The time is now 8.23, and remember, it's a great day to be a knight.